All right, here's the Funk Master, Aljo, Aljamain Sterling. We talk so much about the state of this 135-pound division, how it's never been stronger, and yet, this guy's starting to distance himself from the pack a little bit. Outstanding grappler, and more often than not, he's gonna have a big advantage in that world. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that separates Aljamain, is that he's one of those guys that tells you what he's gonna do, and then he goes and he does it. Nothing's more discouraging for a fighter right than to know what you have to defend and still not be able to defend it. Aljamain Stone is a beast. Now, he did hint to us in the fighter meeting that he thought he could win this fight without chaining takedown. So perhaps we'll see a strike-heavy approach here from Sterling early. We shall see. The Funk Master, Aljamain Sterling. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. There have been so many great undisputed featherweight champions in UFC history. Max Holloway, Jose Aldo, Alexander Volkanovsky, and this is the latest entrant, another guy who people believe could be just as special. John, think about the names that you just listed. These are three of the greatest names the sport has ever seen. And this man is starting to build a resume where he stands alongside some of the greatest featherweight champions of all time. He is just a beast of an athlete. He is a beast of a champion and he believes that tonight it will just be another notch on the belt as he keeps his championship belt. We asked him in the fighter meeting, is this title challenger the toughest fight of your career? He smiled and said no comment. We'll see you later tonight. Jose Aldo has stepped inside the octagon. Aldo is ready to go. Tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Al Jermaine Funk Master Sterling. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Referee Herb Dean will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Good. He's a real high-level grappler, too. So when he gets you down, you, you generally don't get up, and there's a big, big threat of submission from Aljamain Sterling. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Sterling. Upper cut to the head. The body, it's blocked. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. That left hook was crazy. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so there it is. First takedown attempt by the wrestler, and the kickboxer is able to stay upright. So I know it's early, but potentially a significant moment right there. A huge moment for him. Just to gain the knowledge that if I need to, I can defend effectively, even though he believed that he was going to take me down over the over This is massive. Now he gets to fight where he's coming. Oh, 
punch over the top. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Man, this is wild. If you like offense, these fighters are going at it. All gas, no break, baby. Let's go. Uh -huh. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, good head movement there. Nice look. 27 total strikes, as you see there, have landed for Aljamain Sterling. All right, so now we start to see some redness. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Big uppercut. Oh! He's hurt bad. That leg kick hurt. Upstairs. Just over two minutes to go. Naldo gets caught with that punch. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Late round action here, and it has been vintage Jose Aldo all night mixing up his weapons. Absolutely beautiful. He's mixing them up beautifully. Great job of recognizing, hey, this is where I'm best. I know my hands are great. I know my grappling's great. But when I get these leg kicks going, no one can go with it. It's showing again why Jose Aldo's just a man. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, huge knee! Well, Sterling's got a very unorthodox striking style, a lot of different weapons in his arsenal, and a lot of those have been on display here in this one. Misses with the left hook. Missed with that right hand. Oh, nice. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Now we're going. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Keep your hands up. The right hand just misses. And now some separation. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Four seconds for the end of round one. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round underway. Well, in that previous round, didn't look like we would get to this next round, DC, but here we are. He had him hurt very, very badly, but he could not find that last shot to shut the lights out, to close the door. He couldn't close the door. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Circling 
to his right. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Fighters separate from the clinch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands, every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's gonna end very early. Back and forth we go. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Just over three minutes to go. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, big head kick there. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Just that. Oh, big left hook there. Now a knee. Finish, finish. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Fighter connects there. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Able to rip the body there. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his striking. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes. Uh, uh, right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the top. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent just... His opponent recovered. Now we've got to deal with everything that he didn't bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted. That cuts the worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fight. Oh! And there it is, that patented Jose Aldo leg kick again. You know, Andre Pedroneras talked a lot about Aldo getting back to that weapon. He's got to like what he's seeing out of Jose tonight. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Sterling's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Seconds winding down in round two. He will live to fight on. The question is for how long. Relax, breathe. You're gonna be okay. It's fine. You've been here before. You just got clipped. I need you to go out there and I need... All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy 
that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Aldo. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, he missed with that right hand. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Superman punch flush. Well, no fear now. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, that will the key. Oh. Sterling going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. The numbers. Pretty strong thus far. 118 strikes have landed for Jose Aldo. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Aljamain Sterling. Sterling's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and fall. Back to his feet. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Great, great. These boys are standing right there. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Go to your back. Give up the mount. But he'll live to fight another day. Let's go. Get him off. Back to his feet. Slips the punch. 90 seconds to go. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out. He's in a lot of trouble now. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. More than one, more than one. 20 seconds to go. Punches. 
What a great job getting that kick to the target. Waiting seconds here of round number three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round. And it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule like in Boston. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is a it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told them that they were putting them together. Great fight and is truly delivered. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go, fourth round. Is this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hit on Wobbly Lake. Big left hand there inside. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Oh, he blocked that one. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do to see a cut try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more. I, I do love uh, a little damage. The Funk Master delivers. Oh, my Lord. Right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Aljamain Huntmaster. All right, so Al Jermaine Sterling getting it done by knockout tonight. A lot of people.